The upcoming holiday weekend is the unofficial start of summer, and with the high temperatures here in North Texas, wow, many of you will be spending time in or around a pool or lake. You probably already have been in this week. With the increase in water activities comes an increase in the number of drownings. That is our focus today of our CBS 11 phone bank. We have five different agencies over there right now, and Kristen Beckworth is an injury prevention program coordinator from Children's Medical Center. So, Kristen, you do a ton of education out there. How do you know? It's not about age anymore, right? How do you know when your child's ready to swim? Correct. The American Academy of Pediatrics actually recommends that children learn to swim as early as one year old. However, your child may be different than someone else's. So it's really important that parents know when their child's comfortable in the water, when they're comfortable getting their face wet. And lots of the city of Dallas, the city of Plano, our YMCAs all offer parent and child classes. So that's usually a great time to introduce your child to the water. It's really discerning if that child is, is confident enough yet, right? Absolutely. Okay. What drowning hazards should we all be aware of around our home? Um, just making sure that, you know, children can drown in as little as one inch of water. So ensuring that any area inside your home, whether it be your bathtub or your toilet, large appliances, buckets, those items are either locked behind a door or, or emptied. And then, of course, your pool and your spas out in the backyard, you need to make sure that you have isolation fencing that's at least four feet high and non-climbable, mm -hmm. making sure you have rescue equipment ready, and of course making sure that all adults and caregivers are CPR certified in case there is an, an, an injury. Lots to consider. Lots it's to consider. Very huge, it's a huge responsibility. It is. It's also important to teach our kids how to handle things if they start to panic or Correct. you know how to handle the dangers and help them not freak out what should we be teaching our kids so just like you prepare your family for a fire inside the home or mm -hmm. something like that you should have those conversations about water safety with your children um, just begin to let them know how mommy or daddy will get them out of the water should they get in trouble um, we use reach or throw don't go with the know before you go program reach or throw don't, don't go. go and that's just don't jump in after a child who's drowning I know that's tough for a parent yes. but when they're struggling in the water, you want to reach for them with something that's long that you can extend out to them or throw them something that floats so in both the water. Of you don't go under so that you both scenario. don't drown. Absolutely. All right, Kristen, thank you so very much.